Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. Really interesting question today, we have an exponential equation x to the power x equal to 10. And on the first side this is like very simple equation, yeah we have our constant on the right hand side, we already have it, and we have our exponent part with our variables on the left hand side. So we, like on the first side we can solve it by inspection, we can try to find our root on the first side, yeah, but it's not work like that, in the math it's not work like that, the equation can be like, it can look like easy, but with a long and difficult solution, it can, it can look like a hard equation, but with a really easy solution. In our case, this is like not a hard solution, but it's in the same way, this is not an easy solution. Uh, we need to know about two really interesting tricks. How can we solve this question? And in this video, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you these tricks. First of all, we have our power right here. This is our x, this is our exponent. So we need to know about uh, natural log. Yeah, I hope everyone knows about it. So we have like natural log natural log of x to the power x equal to natural log 10. So we just apply natural log on both sides. Of course, it doesn't change nothing because we apply it on both sides. Yeah? But right now we need to know a really great rule because this x jump right here in the beginning. This is the, the great log property. So just imagine you have like natural log a to the power b and we can easily write it as b times natural log a. So this b jump right here in the beginning. Okay, and right now we have this expression, we have x times natural log x equal to natural log 10. And a lot of students ask me why I do this, because right now we have like maybe more complicated on the first side expression, we have like natural log, we have natural log on the on the right hand side, we have three elements right here, but then I try to um, explain them. We need to know about one really interesting trick to continue, continue to solve it, okay? We need to know about number w function. This is really great function and a lot of students have difficulties with this function and I'm going to explain you this uh, function right here, just in simply word, I hope you will understand my explanation. So just imagine you have expression like that, a times e to the power a. Just imagine you have something like that, this expression. And if you apply Lambert W function from this expression, it gives us only our, only our a. Where a is expression wherever you want, wherever we have like in our question, doesn't matter, like maybe complicated, not complicated. The main key right here, we need to have like the same expression as uh, right here and uh, as a power of e. Okay, this is the main, the main rule. Okay, on the right hand side we have constant, so it's hard to create Lambert W function. And right here on the left hand side it's really great expression because instead of this x we can write e to the power natural log x. So e to the power natural log x. Okay, and times natural log x equal to natural log 10. Okay, so I just change uh, this x by e to the power natural log x. We can do this because this is absolutely the same expression. But if you look closely to this expression right now, we can easily see that natural log x, just imagine in our head, this is our a. Just imagine, we don't need a substitution, just in our head. Let's imagine this is our a and this natural log x, this is our a as well. So as a result we have e to the power a times a. This is absolutely the same expression that we need right here. Because we need a and a absolutely the same. But in, in general case, Case, in common, the common uh, Lambert W function definition, we need to have like a and e to the power a in the second place. Of course, we can swap it, we can change position because we have a multiplication, yeah? So we have natural log x times e to the power natural log x equal to natural log, natural log 10. Okay, so we can easily change, change position right here because we have a multiplication, yeah? We can, we can do this. And right now, finally, let's look at it. We have natural log x, for example, this is our a, and natural log x, this is our a as well. So we have a times e to the power a, this is a really great case, because right here we can easily apply Lambert W function on the left hand side, and we can do the same thing with the right hand side. Yeah, with the right hand side. We need to do this on the both side, we need to apply this function on both side, because if we apply on the left hand side we completely uh, fail this question. We need to do absolutely the same thing on the left and on the right. For example, square root on the left, the same square root on the right. Squared or cubed to left hand side, then the same thing on the right hand side. Okay, Lambert W function from this expression give us only our a. In our case a equal to natural log, uh, natural log x. So we have natural log x equal to Lambert W function of natural log, natural log 10. Okay, constant on the right hand side, Lambert W function of natural log 10, this is our, our constant. 
and natural log x we can easily express this in another way because we need only our x we need only our our solution but how can we find this uh, find this solution first of all i suggest you to uh, learn really interesting trick uh, just create base of e on both sides so we have base of e on both sides on the left hand side so with natural log x as a power equal to base of e on of the right hand side so lambda w function of natural log natural log 10. Okay, so I just change nothing, I just create base of E on both sides. I do, I, do I do this on both sides, so nothing changed for us, which is really great. But if we go back, if we look at this expression more closely, if we go back right here, so as you can see, x can be written as e to the power natural log x. So this rule goes in a reverse way, so we can write this e to the power natural log x, we can write it as x, only our x, yeah, equal to e to the power lambda w function of natural log natural log 10 and this is our answer because uh, e to the power lambda w function uh, this is a constant e this is lambda w function of a constant this is uh, the constant so this is for your final answer maybe for your exam if you need to <clears throat> just solve it correctly on your exam but i think a lot of students uh, interested in uh, approximately answer because we have like um, our question so we have x approximately equal to 2.5006. This is our answer. Of course, on your exam, this is not allowed to to use your calculator, but I find this, I type this uh, expression in a scientific calculator and I calculate it for you. Maybe someone interested in approximately answer, which is, which is really great. So our approximately answer, let's write our answer. So our answer, our answer rate here, this is our expression, x equal to e to the power lambda w function of natural log, natural log 10 and x approximately equal to 2.506. Okay, this is our this is our solution to this question. So we hope you understand my solution. We can easily spend maybe 30 seconds to go through this question real quick. So first step, natural log on both sides. You learned, you, you need to, you have to know this rule because this is really great, uh, uh, this is real great property. This x jump right here. Second step, lambda w function, we need to create it. And I would say this is like a very easy, uh, easy question to create lambda w function. So you can easily, you can easily practice your your skills right here because this is really great question to practice okay and the last step maybe third trick is to create base of e on both sides yeah and i hope you understand this explanation but if you still have any question write a question into the comment section let's try to discuss about solution maybe you have your own solution about it it will be really interesting to read about it i wish you all the best see you in the next videos have a great day and take care of yourself